All right, what's going on everybody? We're back again. Been a couple days since we got a video out. Been waiting on some parts to come in. Um, truck's filthy. We got the overdrive portal gears for the four wheel steer capper, as you can tell right here. Um, as you know, they will go into the front portals, obviously. We installed a set of these in the other capper, that one right there and excuse the line on or whatever it is i don't know Ooh. but um yeah we got it installed in that and those were the actually the uh, 1422 gears so you got a 14 tooth top and a 20 i think it was a 22 one of mine maybe a 23 14 23 i think is what it was these are actually a little bit less overdrive. These are the 1322. So a little bit, they say it's in between stock and in between the 25%. So I'm going to say somewhere in the neighborhood of, I'd say 12, 15% of overdrive. And the reason I went with less in this truck is because it's four wheel steer, obviously. And I figured it'd be a good, good little match for this truck. And, um, I didn't want to go too crazy with it. Now, if I do want more, I can, you know, either order another set or I can actually put a ring and pinion that has more overdrive, that will add more overdrive. Or I can get some underdrive portal rear gears and that will, you know, equal me out there again to get more overdrive. But let's get these installed real quick. Very simple process. Wheels, tires off, take the portal cover off, pop the gears out, pop these gears in and, uh, yeah be ready to go and we'll get it out on the rocks and we'll see what it's got all right there we are <clears throat> excuse me the overdrive gears are in um i don't have any tape marked on the wheels or anything but for me i can tell by looking it's noticeable that you can see the front tires are spinning not a whole lot quicker but they are spinning a little bit quicker than what the rears are so yeah, and it's definitely not as much as what the 25% uh, was. Um, they don't exactly specify this. I guess I could get the uh, percentage if I was really good at math, but I'm not. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to say it's in between stock and 25. So let's say somewhere between 12 and 15. If you do know the percentage, let me know in the comments below just so I can have that piece of knowledge with me. Now, Let's get this out onto the rocks and um, see if it changed anything, which I'm sure it did. I know it changed a whole lot on the other Capra and um, I'm really enjoying overdrive in my vehicles. So let's get this out there and let's see what it can do now. All right, guys, here we are. We've got the uh, Capra out to the rocks. Try to get a little bit, so you can try to get a uh, few little clips where you can see that overdrive really working. Everybody knows how it works, you know. I just want people to think, you know, I actually did put overdrive in it. It wasn't just uh, whoops, something I was saying I was going to do, which I showed you guys everything. So we got the overdrive in it. It's uh, the reason I'm going to say it's 12 to 15 is because it feels like it's got more um, overdrive than what's in the uh, Element Enduro uh, kit that I put together, which is like 11.83 is the max. And that's what I got it on. So that's why I'm saying it's a little bit more. I could be wrong. It could just be the way it, it feels to me, but you know, I think it's got more. I'm gonna say somewhere between 12 and 15. Could be a little bit higher, but I'm not 100% sure about it. But I was um, playing around with the truck a little bit before I started uh, recording, and I made a little short video and everything like that, and um, it actually, uh, was pulling up hills a lot harder than what it was before. Working really well in my opinion. Where this truck is a little bit stretched out, um, climbs that I was able to do with the non-stretched Capra have been made harder with this Capra just because of the um, belly getting hung up. So that's really the only, um, hold on, I got a itch. These mosquitoes are absolutely horrible. We had all the rain, now it's uh, sunshine and everything else, so they're out like crazy. So this will be a uh, fairly short video. But like I was saying, it doesn't, now if it's just a steep climb, it's gonna do very well on it. 
but you got a nice little overhang like this one right up here, which this isn't one of them, this one, it usually bobs itself over that, but I got a few rocks that you guys haven't seen a whole lot because they're not really made into a course, it's just a few rocks that I can climb on. And this truck really does not want to um, climb the one climb that my other camera went. And a lot of my other trucks will actually climb it. But where this one's stretched out, it just cannot get that belly over. But yeah, there's the, uh, there's the overdrive. Now this one right here, um, it goes up this one just fine. If I remember correctly, hopefully I'm not lying to you guys. Pretty positive it does. It's pretty steep. Truck is almost vertical. Closer you get, the more vertical it gets. There we go. It actually clears that one pretty well. Which you kind of got it, it's kind of U'd out right there in the middle, so you got kind of uh, two little knobs you can get your tires on. It works out really great. So, overall, guys, I really like it. Um, just where I've gotten used to driving my other trucks with overdrive, like the uh, Capra and the Element, I really wanted it in this truck as well. Even though it's got four-wheel skid, I still wanted to include that. These mosquitoes are absolutely horrible. So we're going to wrap up this video here. Um, if you guys are in the uh, market for some overdrive gears for any of your uh, Capra products, and I think they're actually versatile with the SCX-10 three uh, axles as well. So your gladiators, your Jeeps, your base camp, whatever you may have, you can check out SSD's product on A-Main or Horizon. You'll probably find them on Amazon as well. I haven't checked there. But great products. Um, I've had the other gears in the other capper for probably about a month now. No issues out of those. Time will tell though. The metal actually feels of high quality on the uh, gears. It doesn't feel like some type of pop metal or anything like that. So good products. I've had a lot of SSD products and they've all treated me well. But that'll wrap up today's video, guys. Um, check out SSD's overdrive gears if you haven't already. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And tune in for more daily content. Whether that be a short or that be a video like I'm doing today, I try to get something out every day at least. Whether it's a full video or just a short, whatever I can get out. But thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.